next concept is cram's rule directly i go for examples so in the cram's rule uh, So when we have a, this kind of compound, imagine that this is a large group, this is small group and this is medium group. So now we have a nucleophile approach. So here two possibilities are there. It can come in my imagine this is above the plane and this is below the plane. And it can be this is one product possible and another product will be this will be another product so which one will be the major so to predict which one is major we need to go for the cramps rule so just uh, remember the model how we need to arrange the groups so this uh, carbonyl carbon will comes on the front carbon so this is front carbon and this group comes under the uh, comes in a back carbon okay so now the large group should be here and the medium group should be here and small group should be here so just remember this model if you can remember this model it's very easy to predict the product okay so now uh, we have a nucleophile approach So here nucleophile can approach from this direction or from this direction so which one will be the favorable we need to see so if you see this this kind this approach here we have large group as well as medium group so there will be repulsions whereas in this case there is no repulsions because only small group is there means repulsions will be there but uh, it's not that uh, serious repulsions okay so this kind of approach is favorable over this kind of approach okay so now we need to write the product so writing product is very simple no need to get confusion i will write here again same direction R. and here we have large group here we have medium group here we have small group so imagine that nucleophile is going in this direction okay so now we'll keep a back carbon as such large medium small so front carbon will be this will be the front carbon okay so now see so this is the nucleophile and this is the o, o group okay so nucleophile is nucleophile is approaching this direction that means this place will be taken by nucleophile that means this O means uh, this O further moves towards your left. Okay, nucleophile is coming this way. That means your right hand side will be nucleophile and O will moves left hand side. So when we write in this conformation, so nucleophile comes here and oxygen is moving towards your left. That means this carbon, this will be OH and this will be R group okay so uh, this is the product here we'll get and we need to arrange we need to convert into it is it's in the cycle in into the normal form so that we will see later so this is the way to write the product in the crumbs rule and now we'll take some examples in those examples we will convert into the normal form also so this is clear right next we have this example here methyl group is present below the plane and hydrogen is in above the plane and here ethyl group so this one we can write it as like this so instead of writing a, uh, this hydrogen stripe just little bit this side you write okay so it will be better and now we need to 
arrange the large large group here medium group here and small group is here so among these three which is small group hydrogen is small group so this place goes to hydrogen and uh, which is the large group ethyl group is large group so this place goes to ethyl group and medium group goes to methyl group okay and again i will write here hydrogen here here ethyl group methyl group and hydrogen here and here we are treating with the ph and gbr okay so now ph mgbr can approach in two ways this is the one way it is imagine this is a and this is the another way this is b okay this is a path and this is b path so first we will write about a path so ph is coming from this side that means this oh moves towards your left this is front front carbon and this is back carbon back carbon ethyl methyl and hydrogen so ph is coming this way that means this position will be taken by ph and o will move towards your left that is oh is here and hydrogen is here and now we'll go for the b path so there is no change in the back carbon ethyl it is methyl and hydrogen now so ph is going from this way that means uh, oh is oh will move towards your left sorry your right so hydrogen will be here so ph is going this way that means it will be remain your, to the your left that means your left is this one this carbon is your left and oh comes here okay so now we need to convert this one into the normal form so here we need to we also need to remember that we have to write the product based on this methyl group stereochemistry and also we, we we have to consider which groups are on the plane here on the plane ethyl group and hydrogen groups are there so so that we have to bring in this confirmation we have to bring uh, ethyl and uh, this hydrogen onto the plane sorry this hydrogen onto the plane so we just rotate in a 120 anti-clockwise direction so that we get hydrogen here ph here oh here ethyl ch3 and h and here also same ethyl ch3 hydrogen here hydrogen here oh and here ph now now it's simple to convert into normal form first uh, First, we will write a state of chemistry of this, uh, this, meth, this carbon. So, it will be clear. So, methyl group is below the plane. And hydrogen is above the plane. And here, ethyl group. So, now, see. In this form, methyl group and OH are in opposite direction. And uh, uh, 180 degree. So here methyl is present below the plane that means here OH should be present above the plane and then uh, what is what is another group pH that should be below the plane and here also we will keep hydrogen above the plane and methyl below the plane and here ethyl group comes now see a, in this case methyl and oh are on the same side right that means oh comes below the plane and uh, methyl and phenyl are in opposite direction that means phenyl comes here and h so among these two path a path is preferable over the b path because in case of b path there is a repulsion from the uh, 
मीडियम ग्रुप एंड लार्ज ग्रुप वेर एज इन केस ऑफ ए पाथ देर इज नो रिपल्शन बिकॉज हाइड्रोजन इज वेरी स्मॉल सो बिकॉज ऑफ दैट रीजन दिस प्रोडक्ट इज मेजर एंड दिस प्रोडक्ट इज माइनर सो दिस इज द क्राम्स रूल आई विल टेक सम मोर फ्यू मोर एग्जाम्पल्स हिया सो दिस इज क्लियर राइट here we have another example ph methyl group and hydrogen we have treated with methyl lithium so here also same i am not writing two path i am writing only one path this is hydrogen large group medium group and small group so here small group is hydrogen and medium group is methyl and large group is phenyl so now methyl group is nucleophile here so this comes in this way so that this would be methyl this would be oh this is h pH this is CH3 and H so now here uh, same thing here also pH and H is on the plane so for that we need to rotate it by 120 degrees 120 degrees sometimes in examination point of view they may not rotate also means they may ask this is also correct only if it depends upon on which uh, he is taking as a plane sometimes he sometimes this this also can take it as a on the plane if 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 he has to, if it if it's like that how it looks like that how it's look we see so this methyl group is uh, here below the plane and nitrogen should be above the plane and when we will take a phenyl and methyl on the plane are that time OH and methyl are on the same side right so this like this also they may ask but here I am writing the product according to the this direct chemistry okay this is also correct but I am writing according to this direct chemistry okay so now we will rotate it to 120 degrees so it will be hydrogen here methyl OH CH3 H and pH so when we convert into normal form it looks like this OH is here below the plane and methyl group is above the plane and hydrogen so this is the product nothing ch nothing changes here just uh, is like uh, here hydrogen came on the plane here methyl group came on the plane so both are correct only so if he in the examination point of view whatever groups are here if in the, in options also they only uh, only these groups are present on the plane so that time we you need to rotate it when not in the plane if this kind of means you can directly write the product from here to here this is second example And this is common. This is same for other 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 examples also. Like, uh, I have one more example here. Here we have NBU CO hydrogen chlorine on the plane and ethyl group below the plane. And this we need to write into this form. NBU is here. Cl, ethyl, and hydrogen. Okay, so now uh, H minus goes from this direction to this direction, so that we'll get NBU, OH, and H, and then. 
ethyl is here cl is here and hydrogen is here so this is the product here we'll get and there is one question in a csl exam on this uh, topic This is the question they have asked in the CSL exam. So, whenever you are attempt, attempting the questions in a CSL exam, you just need to follow the elimination method. If you can follow the elimination method easily, you can remove two options. So, here what is the key point? Here, key point is this one. This is called BOC. BOC is a protected selective protecting group for only NH2 so if you know this one you can you can remove this option as well as this option also because here they have they have given that box is protected oh not nh okay so answer is in between these two so just here box is protecting group for nh2 and this uh, uh, silyl chloride is a uh, protecting group for oh okay these these two are clear so now we need to apply Kram's rule here. Uh, okay. I am taking this whole group as R so that you will not get confused. So here large group will be <coughs> see here large group will be this CH2OH and uh, NH2 is medium group. So the NH box is medium group is O O S B T. Okay. And uh, here hydrogen will be here. So this is the reducing agent lithium aluminum uh, tertiary butox tertiary butyl no H minus goes from this side to this side. And now this is H O H R O S P T N H B O C and H. Okay, so this one we got it. So now on the plane we need to see. So on the plane, this group and this R group are the on the plane. So in the options they have given this group and R group is on the plane. So because of that reason, we have to rotate this one by 120 degrees. So R will come here H O H O S B T N H B O C and H. So now we need to convert into normal form. This is O S B 